Hello, this is Sal. Today's video is about uh, zone based policy firewall. We will be configuring a firewall on router 3. Uh, I configured already static routes on the routers. I can have PC2 ping PC B here. Ping 192.168.1.5. And PC1 can establish the uh, open web browser to the server, web server of 192.168.1.3. And also PC1 establish an SS connection with router 2 on this interface of n.2.2.2. SSH link admin of 10.2.2.2 password of admin and the enable password of Cisco now everything uh, in detail you will find it uh, the walkthrough in the description of this video for now let us uh, uh, issue this command show version on router 3 see if uh, the technology package license information uh, is enabled enable so version and it is not so let's do it and enable it configure terminal license boot model c1900 technology package security Yes, we will accept the license and let us save it. And now reload the router. Confirm. Let's give it a second. Enable. So version again. Double check. And here we go. We have it enabled. And sorry here now we will be configuring uh, a firewall on router 3 so any the any device on this network will be able to go out of this zone but nobody on the outside can so the, the firewall will be configured here so now let's create the uh, in zone and out zone on the router configure terminal zone security call the first one in zone for the network of 192.168.3.j here it here and another zone security out zone Now we need to identify the traffic using uh, is this here. We need to identify the traffic using a class map. But first, we will create an access control list that defines the internal traffic. Here, we will create an extended access control list. 101 to permit all IP protocol from the network of 192.168.3.0 slash 24 source network to any destination. So on router 3, access list, extended 101, and we want to permit IP from the source address of 192.168.3.0. The inverse of this mask of this one and to go to any destination or any host. Now let's uh, create a class map referencing the internal traffic access control list. Here I will use a class map type inspect command with the match all option to create a class map named in net class map. Then use the match class group command to match 
access control list 101. Here we create the class map, the type inspect match all and call it in net class map and we want it to match the axis group of 101 exit now we created the class map now we will specify the firewall policies by creating a policy map to determine what to do with the matched traffic. I will use the policy map type inspect command and create a policy map named in to out policy map. Policy map type uh, inspect in to out and to out policy map now i'll specify the class type of inspect and reference class map in net class map class type inspect in net in net class now we will specify the action of inspect for this policy map by using the command inspect this inbox context space access control the other options are pass and drop we will use the command inspect and as you can see we have the other two options a drop and pass inspect enter it is saying that no specific protocol configured in a class in net class map for inspection all protocols will be inspected now it will uh, let's exit from here and one more now it's time to apply the firewall policies by creating a pair of zone by using the zone pair security command. I'll create a zone pair named into out zone pair and specify the source and destination zone that we, that we created earlier and in the end zone and the out zone. So now zone pair. Security in dash to out zone pair source the in zone the one we created earlier or in zone destination is out zone. Now I'll specify the policy map for handling the traffic between the two zones, the in zone and out zone, by attaching the policy map and its associated actions to the zone pair using the service policy type inspect command and reference the policy map previously created. The policy map. Now service policy type inspect. Service policy inspect uh, in to out policy map. Exit. Now we will assign interfaces the appropriate security zones by using the zone member security command interface configuration mode to assign the interface on this interface here of g01 gigabit ethernet 01 
and the serial 00 slash 1 the end zone and the out zone uh, so now interface 01 for the end zone zone member security and dash zone and interface of serial zero zero one zone member security out dash zone exit let's uh, see let's test the firewall functionality from in to out let's uh, see if the internal host uh, can still access external resources after this configuration from uh, PC1 here let's ping the server ping 192.168.1.3 yes we can and uh, let's see if uh, PC1 can establish an uh, SSS connection with router 2 Link admin of 10.2.2.2 password admin and the enable password is Cisco. And let's see if PC2 can through the web browser, you know, 192.168.1.3. Yes, we can. Let's see if uh, PCB can ping PC2, ping This is telling us that our wall is a success. And let me run this uh, show command, show policy, map, type, inspect, zone care, session. And this is that. Let's see from PCB or the router if it can access, sorry, the server. PC1 ping uh, 192, 168, 3 and no so now configuring the zone based policy firewall on router 3 was a success. So we can from this network of 192.168.3.0 access any destination, but nobody from out can access any uh, device or any uh, the network of 192.168.3.0. I hope you learned something from this video. Please, if you like it, uh, subscribe to my channel and give me the thumb up. And uh, you can see uh, the walkthrough of this video in the description. If you have any comments or you want me to do any uh, video or something you don't understand, I will be gladly uh, doing it. And uh, I'll be doing more videos using the GNS3 very soon, hopefully. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.